I just bought these glasses for the carnival here in Greece and we're having the time of our life. So with that said now let's see what we have going on for today's content because we're gonna use a pretty meta team for Spring Cup and of course we're gonna check out not only that amazing Serpidor Apriferon but at the same time wheezing on its Galarian form this time as a pure closer. Now without any further ado, cue the intro. I'm not seeing well with these things, so I'm just gonna take them off. Anyways, having now Sir Peter coming in, super clutch here, up against a very bad lead with that wheezing, and of course at some point we will try to catch on our tentacruel. Unfortunately for us, it ends up being just a bait, which means that the overheat will not be resisted at all. Instead, they're gonna throw that uh, neutral damage and, of course, the brutal swing. So, another move is coming off from this Pokemon. I was not expecting this, so here comes the Mirror Shot, which is kind of weird, but at the same time, they apply the debuff. Sludge Wave now for not a lot of damage for sure, and we cannot even reach now to that skull. So, here comes now my play with those back to back aerial aces just to finish off that Ferrothorn as soon as possible, but since I know now that they have Mirror Shot, I have nothing to worry about and I'm just gonna charge up as much as I can. Also, I have a weird lag here that those debuffs are not uh, being shown visually, of course they are applied, but as it seems I cannot see them, so eventually I can still finish off that Ferrothorn. Now with Wizzing returning into the battle I can still go for those Frezzy plants and knowing that only overheat can hit me here for super effective I'm just gonna block once just in case this is the overheat and of course it is so right after we can respond with some Frezzy plants and as you can see we managed to catch now once again but this time on our own Wizzing. So here comes now the resisted overheat I say resisted because it is the debuff after all not even resisted but you get the memo and of course right after we have a win condition all of a sudden against Araquanid. This Pokemon whatever it throws is gonna be bug moves basically and of course since they do not have access as it seems to the water pulse I can easily tank one bubble beam with this. Right after we can go ahead and throw that overheat between those shields and right after that we can absolutely switch out to clear the debuff with our switch out to that superior. So Wireless Ace here will not finish them off because they have that final shield but at the same time we have so much energy stored up on Weezing able to get now to the overheat for the overkill against Araquanid and we're gonna start off the video in a positive way or I thought so because they have a Weezing as well alive and well and we cannot finish them off right on time instead we're gonna start off the video in a draw. Are you kidding me? That was super weird but it happened. Anyways I totally forgot about that Weezing at the very end. So over here speaking of wheezing another one uh, right after that previous battle and this time on the switch up against our tentacle able to completely wall down this Pokemon and all we need to do at, at some point is to throw our skull but as it seems this opponent decides to go for those sludges and I have a feeling that I can completely farm down without spending a sweat. However my opponent catches me off guard here and of course I'm getting destroyed down by the overheat. Now that Polyrath comes into the battle and of course we stand on a very good spot because of that amazing energy gain that we have on Serpidior. Here comes now the damage output with the fresh plant they are not gonna expect it perhaps they were expecting that aerial ace and since now they have the lantern coming into the game we can absolutely wreak havoc on their defenses with those back to back moves. Here comes now the surf I'm pretty sure we can tank one that's why it took that move and right after we got the fresh plant for massive damage and we're gonna take this victory without revealing our wheezing at all. Into the next battle with another weird lead, this time up against a dugong. I never like my odds whenever I have a grass type up against a dugong because of how easy it is with that uh, icy wind to debuff our attack stat. So here comes now the move, I'm just gonna block it as well because we're gonna get severely low after this, perhaps they can farm down with this with a simple ice art and I do not like my odds at all. So here comes now a move from their end and of course it is going to be another ice wind. On the 
plus side though we got the upper hand with the seals and of course before they reach here to the drill run I'm just gonna press the overheat to finish off the Dungong spending no sweat at all. So here comes now the switch immediately right after to my tentacle because I know that whatever they throw here is gonna be absolutely devastating for me since I have that debuff from that overheat and of course right after they want to switch out to that uh, victory bell. This is absolutely awesome for us because now they are shieldless and our plan is to go ahead and throw that double brutal swing while we need one to finish off this victory bell and perhaps one more to destroy down the remaining HP that this uh, super glassy Braxis is gonna have. Next up trainers now with Superior up against the Trevenant. Of course we can have the upper hand here with those aerial aces but at the same time a shield build Sandoball can absolutely be devastating stating for us so we managed to block the correct move here sometimes i let that move go through but as it seems on this particular incident uh, well we blocked correctly and all of a sudden they have a mountain i didn't know that mountain was allowed in this cup but still my opponent threw it up against me i guess that at the time you're watching this video it is still allowed in go battle league and of course spring cup but initially it was supposed to be banned i don't know what is happening i need to test it out I just do not have a lot of time right now. Anyways, here Mantin is still gonna take us out, but I don't care that much because Tentacruel has already done its job. Now that they are shieldless, of course, my Frezzy plant here will finish off the remaining HP that this Mantin is having, and now it is the battle of the Industrial Revolutions. So here comes now the overheat, I guess, so we managed to block correctly at this point, and now the back they have the Trevenant, so I'm just gonna throw here my overheat while I still have have my Serpeter alive and well. I know that another overheat needs to be thrown in no time at all, so here it comes trainers, my opponent will take it because they are shieldless, but at this point they can still survive with a considerable amount of HP. So here comes now a double sludge which was super weird at this point, but still I guess it does its job without them spending any debuff on their end, but another move, this time the fresh plant which is resisted, but still kinda lethal on that wheezing will grab that amazing victory for our team. Pelipper now up in front, obviously this is gonna be a bad one for us, so I'm just gonna switch out to my Tentacruel and let's see how well we can do here because we're expecting the switch at some point. So I'm just gonna respond back at them with a sludge wave on the switch that the bomb has now as, and as it seems they were not expecting it at all. So down they go in and one shot, amazing damage output from the Tendai Pokemon and right after we also got the Scald for that Pelipper. They're getting significantly low so I guess we can absolutely push here for another Scald but my opponent absolutely knew what they were doing so they can absolutely farm down as well. So at this point they have the Hurricane which I guess is kinda weird but still we threw the nuke on that Aboma Snow and I did not respect at all that energy gain that they had so we exchanged some one shots over here but it doesn't matter I still have that overheat for the one kill over that uh, Trevenant and I press the second overheat right on the CMP this was not intended at all I was hoping that I could get my hands on the second overheat before they do uh, anything weird with their moves so with that in mind now they have enough energy to throw the weather ball and of course finish me off since I miscalculated some things Anyways, into the next one now, and we're having that Ferrothorn up in front, which is, as always, a troublesome lead for us, since we do not have a clear battle with our uh, Serpeter over here, and also at the same time, this Pokemon can almost wall down my Tentacruel at the back. And with Flash Cannon, of course, we stand no chance at all with our Serpeter. Not only that, they also want to go ahead and block my moves, which is not that great overall, as it seems they might actually know what I might be having at the back since I'm not switching out with my superior. So here comes now another flash cannon but this time I can easily farm down by spending just one shield I guess with my tentacruel and tentacruel with energy is always a severe threat to any Pokemon out there. Even when they have the seals you can always go with back to back skulls or just surprise them with that sludge wave. So they got the lantern at the back and of course we can throw one sludge wave and perhaps one more but 
but my opponent here will take advantage of the luck that I have and of course the surf now will just finish me off in a very weird way. It doesn't matter, the battle is never over since we got the Galan Wizzing at the very end able to deal a lot of damage with those brutal swings. I'm just gonna go for the first one here, they want to block which is pretty great for me and one more before they get their hands on that surf. So now it all depends on what they might be having at the back so it ends up being another wheezing and of course things aren't looking that great. I know that one overheat will not be enough so first I will throw here that brutal swing and then I will try to finish them off with the one shot, the two shot eventually with that overheat and we managed to get the exact amount of damage that we needed to finish them off. That was an absolutely clutch victory for our Galar wheezing. Into the final one out trainers and we're having that Ferrothorn up in front once again a very bad lead that we need to somehow win with our team. So this trainer doesn't have flash cannon as it seems they got power whip and thunder and they want to throw thunder which is not the greatest move ever I guess that power whip is more energy efficient since they are both uh, gonna do about the same damage and of course you need one less bullet seed to get there to that power whip. Anyways enough about that I'm just gonna go ahead and throw another error lace to that Ferrothorn and they eventually go down. Both shields are up from both ends and of course we got now our upper hand here with that Araconid at the very end with our Tentacruel. So Bubble Beam can easily be taken, whatever they throw can easily be taken here while we can also answer back at them with some skulls on that uh, weird Whiskas. So at this point I'm just gonna wait for that switch timer I guess because I can easily farm down the remaining HP that they have with my Ferrothorn but as it seems they can easily finish me off before I even have the chance to switch out. Not gonna spend any shields at all, I'm just gonna return to the battle with my uh, Serpeter, not even the Ferrothorn. Why did I think that I have a Ferrothorn? Anyways, that's another video. So right after we're just gonna go ahead and get completely farmed down. I'm, I don't know what I was thinking about and since they do not even have that water pass, as it seems here we're gonna take a victory that that will take some time to unfold. So if that's okay with you, I'm just gonna cut it about here because it doesn't make any more sense for my wizing to stay anymore into this battle. So that is gonna be all for today trainers, thank you for watching and for sticking around till the end. We won that final one, uh, absolutely awesome for our wizing but overall this team is looking pretty great. If you want to see more of my content, I have over here two more videos for you. Before you go though, leave a huge like, subscribe to the channel if you are new to my Conan and of course till the next time take care trainers